Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Long Island Collaborative Divorce Professionals Collaborative Circle. This month, I'm honored to be joined by my esteemed colleague, Jacqueline Caputo, whose office is based in Westbury. She is a divorce litigator, a divorce mediator, and a collaborative attorney. And to, today, we're going to be speaking with Jackie about what brought her to collaborative why this process is so important to her, why the work is so meaningful, and what she gets out of it. So thank you, Jackie, so much for joining us and for sharing with us what it is that is so special to you about Collaborative. So I'll just open the floor up to you and ask you if there's anything specific that you want to talk about. But more generally, what is it that you see um, specifically with Collaborative versus mediation and maybe versus the court system? Well, thanks, Liz. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have this opportunity. I always take any chance that I get to share the word about collaborative because I think um, I think it's it's unfortunate that so many people don't know about this process. And I know that you join me wholeheartedly in trying to get the word out, trying to spread the word. Um, and educate people because most don't even know that this is an option. And I really, really feel that this is the most comprehensive way to go about a divorce. Um, I think that it's a fresh approach. It's a way of looking at it as a reorganization of a family instead of a, a war <laughs> about um, You know, I think that once people come to the realization that this is what's happening in their family, they need to really gather the strength to go about it in a way that is going to be best for their family on the other side of it. And I think without question, this is, this is the best way to do that. Um, and I'm a huge fan of mediation. You know, when I uh, first started in my career, I was pretty much only doing litigation. And after uh, years of that and really a growing frustration with that process, I started to look toward mediation and I wanted to take that training. And after I got uh, well into that type of work, I became aware of collaborative and, and that seemed uh, very interesting to me. It really seemed like a smart way of going about things. And so I took the training in that as well. And at this point, I, you know, I, I hope to make that, um, you know, what, what I do is in addition to mediation, collaborative, because I really feel that it is a better way. Uh, I love some of the stuff that you said, right, that this is more comprehensive, which, mm -hmm. you know, again, I, I'm fully on board with you and I agree with that. And I also love the fact that you mentioned a reorganization of the family, mm -hmm. right? When people are married, whether it's for a year or 20 years, whether they have children who are young, children who are older, or whether they don't have children at all. Really, they were a family unit for mm -hmm. a period of time, and that won't necessarily change, especially right. if there are children going forward. Right, that won't change. I mean, that they, when there are children involved, you are, you are connected for life. And you know, I often tell my clients, especially in those moments where I see it's getting difficult for them, hard for them to, to stay on path, um, that they need to think about how all of this is affecting their children. And, you know, I try to, I try to bring them years into the future and say to them, if you can't get this right now, it's going to burden your children in the future. And at all of those important major moments of their life, they're going to be burdened, worried about how are mom and dad getting along today? you know, at their wedding, at the birth of their children, if, you know, if, if God forbid anything ever happened to them and they needed a surgery there or anything, they're going to be worried about how are mom and dad getting along right now instead of focused on their own moment. And I, I find sometimes if I, if I raise that idea to my clients that it gets through to them because they realize the greater impact that all of this will have forever forever, it won't go away. And so they have, they have to get it right. And if they choose this process, I think that they have a much, much greater shot of getting it right. Yeah, I, again, I agree wholeheartedly. And um, I love the personal approach that you bring to it mm -hmm. and the, um, the heart and the dedication. It's, it's apparent in 
the work that you do and the work that we do as a larger community. So um, I think just in closing, I'd like to just ask you, you know, what your thoughts are for the future for collaborative, right? Especially here on Long Island, here in New York, uh, across the nation, and especially just with the challenges that we're facing, right? So many people facing unemployment, uh, you know, job loss, or um, even just, you know, a step down in their pay and the, you know, the, the pandemic, you know, all of it sort of coming into play. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on what the future might look like for families and alternative options that they have. Right, I mean, I think these have been unprecedented times. The, there, this past year has rocked so many families and changed our ideas of things and hopefully made some of us think about what's really important. And um, I hope that we can use what we've been through as a springboard to make things better in the future and really be thoughtful about how we approach all of the issues in our lives. You know, and for, for our clients going through a divorce, I hope that they will realize that there is a better, kinder way of doing things. But also, you know, it's not, it's not just that. It's, it is a more comprehensive way of, of, of reorganizing the family to really take a look at all of the details and have attention to detail and, and create an agreement that is going to be useful to them in the future because it's packed with details that are specific to their family situation. And so, you know, I hope that, um, I hope that we can just continue the work that we do in the LICDP to try to get the word out there and, and explain to people that this is an option that they have. Um, because most people don't even know that it exists. I agree. So uh, again, you know, I really thank you for your time. I love hearing your input, your insight, the, the reasons that you came to Collaborative, the, the, the way that you see it for the future, right? It's mm -hmm. very hopeful. And I, you know, again, wholeheartedly agree with you that I think that the future really is outside of the courtroom when it comes to families. Oh, definitely. So, I think we've learned that. I think we've learned this year that we're capable of that. We don't, we don't need to follow the traditional methods. We can do this from the comfort of our own homes, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and do it in a different way. And, um, you know, I hope people realize that. Yeah. And I think that sometimes out of some great tragedies, right, something great does happen. And I think you're right. Absolutely. That maybe we have learned that we can sort of take a step back and we don't have to follow that same model and we can take a step back and sort of look at it in a more, like you said, comprehensive manner and say, you know what, um, there, are, there are alternatives. And that's it. If the courtroom is what you need, it is there and you have access to it. But if not, you know, here's some alternatives, so. Right. And, you know, the courtroom, in my experience, I found is just appropriate in, in very specific certain situations. The overwhelming majority of situations would be better off in a mediation or a collaborative setting because people know what's best for their families. They know, they know how best to schedule their kids, how to share time with their kids, what their kids need. You know, and, and I understand that, uh, I really do understand that, especially now that I'm a parent. You know, I wasn't a parent at the beginning of my career and then, um, you know, having children of my own, I have a very different perspective and a di whole different understanding of what my clients are going through. Um, and I couldn't imagine a, a night without my children, a day without being there uh, with them. And so I'm very sympathetic to my clients who are now having to have less time with their kids and, and having to figure out a way to make it work so that they're both very, very present in their kids' lives and not missing a moment. Yeah, and I love that, you know, uh, seeing things from a different perspective and understanding things a little differently. Sometimes when we live certain experiences, we can relate in a way that we couldn't before. So thank you to everyone for coming today to join us at the Collaborative Circle of the Long Island Collaborative Divorce Professionals. If you or anyone you know is interested in finding out more about the process, the details of how it works, speaking with any of our professionals, including Jacqueline Caputo, who was kind enough today to come and speak with us, I highly encourage you to reach out. We all offer a free consultation on the process and how it works. So please come and visit us at www.licdp.com and we look forward to seeing you.